Hey guys, Tweakers here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Black Myth Wukong and optimize your performance, fix FPS drops, lags and stutter and a lot more. So make sure to stick around till the end and with all this said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential window settings and for that, head over to settings on your PC and then go over to gaming. Head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will help you to gain extra FPS because it consumes a lot of CPU usage and disabling that will help you free that up. Head back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will automatically turn off things in the background, allowing you to gain extra FPS in the game. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Click on this button over here, click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options. That is hardware extracted GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Head back to graphics and then head over to the browse button over here. Go to the install location of your game and then you'll find b1.exe. Click on add and this application will be added into the list. Click on options and then select high performance. Click on the browse button once again and then head over to b1 binaries of win64 and you'll find win64shipping.exe. Click on add and then go over to option and then select high performance over here as well and then simply click on save. Once that is done, you can simply close your settings. Step number two is the compatibility settings and for that head over to the the game directory over here you'll find b1 go over there head over to binaries win64 and you'll find a b1 win64 shipping.exe right click on that head over to properties go to compatibility and then select disable full screen optimizations and then you'll find change high dpi settings click on that and then click on override high dpi scaling behavior simply click on ok and then click on apply and then click on ok once again step number three is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point over here and then look for your local disk c Click on create and name it Wukong so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore your PC back to normal without any data loss. Once this is done, you can simply close it, exit out, and now let's move to the next step that is a Black Myth Wukong FPS pack by Tweakers. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You'll find in five simple folders over here. The first one is the CPU priority in which you'll find AMD CPU priority as well as Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you are an AMD CPU user like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you are an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. Head back to the main folder and then go over to the Black Myth Wukong priority. And in here you'll find high and above normal priority. Once again, do leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list. You can always revert them back to normal with using this one, the normal priority, and this will set the settings back to the normal ones. Go back, head over to the third folder, which is the RAM optimization, in which you'll find a ton of presets according to your memory. I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to use this one. It could be different for you, so you can choose any one from this list, and if you do don't like it, you can always reset it back to default. Fourth folder is the programs folder, in which you'll find a lot of things. First, let's start with the cache cleaner. Right click on that and click on add run as administrator. This will help you to clean up your temporary files that are created by applications and you no longer need this. Cleaning up every once a while is always good for your PC. It will automatically close so you can minimize and let it run in the back. Second one is Memreduct. Right click and run this as administrator. This will install Memreduct on your PC so you can click on next and continue downloading the software. Once you open it up, you can simply search for Memreduct on your PC and once it opens up, it will ask you to update if there is any update possible. Click on yes and it will start doing that. Once you open this thing up, click on clean memory and click on yes and it will start reducing your memory usage right away. It helps you to significantly clean your memory usage and allow you to get a headroom for your PC to perform well while gaming. Once it is done, you can close this and move to the next program that is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Right click and run this as administrator. Over here, you'll find a lot of things. What you're going to do is look for your graphic card that is right over here. Click on the MSI button in front of it and then for the interrupt priority, set this thing to high and then click on apply. This will set your GPU affinity to a higher state. Last is the quick CPU.MSI. Right click and run this as administrator again. This will open up a installer right in front of you click on next click on accept the terms and agreement and click on next again click on next and it will install quick cpu on your pc once it opens up you're going to look at a screen similar to this what you have to do is set your system power plan from balanced to high performance or ultra performance and then click on set as active then you'll find core parking turbo boost frequency scaling and performance you have to slide all of them to 100 percent and then click on apply this will make sure that your cpu is always running on the maximum performance right over here you also have something called memory data over here click on that and then click on clean and it will clean the overhead of your memory and this will help you to gain extra performance while you're playing the game close it and then close quick CPU. Last is the unwanted service in which you'll find a lot of services right over here. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth devices, 
leave this and disable every single thing right over here. This will help you to disable all unnecessary services running in the background of your PC and help you to gain extra FPS in the game. Once again, if you want to revert them back to normal, you can use this folder and revert every single one back to normal without any loss. Once you're done with the FPS pack, go back to your desktop. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications. And for that, press Ctrl Shift and Escape all together on your PC and Task Manager will open right in front of you. Click on Startup Apps right over here and you'll find a lot of apps right in this list. Right click on them and start disabling the ones that you do not use since the boot of your PC. It will help you to save a lot of memory and CPU usage because all of the applications running in the background are constantly consuming your resources. Turning them off right from here will only allow them to run when you want to use them and this will help you to save a lot of headroom on your resources. Next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for local group policy editor on your PC and this step will only work for Windows Pro users so if you're not a Windows Pro user you can skip this one. Go over to administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy and over here you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Double click to open this thing up and then click on enabled. This will enable the policy on your PC. And then for default for all applications, select force deny and then click on apply, click on OK. And this will set a policy on your PC to not run applications in the background, which will help you to save your resources for gaming. And this will also help you to gain extra FPS. Next is boot configuration. And for that, simply search for MS config and you'll open up system configuration on your PC. Head over to the boot section and then click on advanced option. Click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available for your PC. Click on OK and then click on apply. Then click on OK once again. and then then select exit without restart. Once done with that, head over to the game and follow the best in game settings. All right, once you're in your game, you have to press the settings button over here and then head over to settings. Scroll all the way down until you find display and you make sure that you are playing on a full screen window or a borderless window right over here. Aspect ratio should be 16 is to 9. And display resolution should be your native monitor resolution. Frame rate cap should be turned off. V-Sync should be turned off. Motion blur should be turned off and camera shake should be set to zero. Then go back, head over to graphics and then super resolution should be set to 70%. Super resolution sampling should be set to DLSS, frame generation should be turned on, full ray tracing should be turned off and for the graphic preset I have set the view distance to medium, anti-aliasing quality to medium, post effects quality to medium, shadow quality low, texture quality medium, visual effect quality medium, hair quality low, vegetation quality low, global illumination low and reflection quality low. Once it is done, press Y on your controller, click on confirm, head back and you are now good to play with the max FPS available in the game. So guys that was it for this video. I I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Tweakers and peace out.